Surely I am not the only one struggling to get her head around this. No, I can't believe that you would want to take photographs of what was on the tracks. It's absolutely disgusting. And what's even more upsetting is that the staff were then having to hold back all these... Apparently, it was mostly, mostly young, young men, men yeah. taking photographs and videoing it. They're having to deal with them instead of dealing with you know, what had happened on the tracks or whatever. I can't yeah. believe that someone would actually try to take pictures of that. It's absolutely I, disgusting. I, I mean, for one, it's such a, it's a tragic thing to happen. Yeah. It's a horrific thing to witness. Why would your first thought be to take a photo of an uh, or a video of it? I think I think it's just I think it's, I mean there is something wrong. You must have a frozen off heart to be able to do something like that. But I do think it's <clears throat> as we're always banging on about you know the fact that we have been numbed off to a degree because yes. of social media. I remember years ago being in a, a, a Chinese restaurant and um, there was this young girl pushing at one of these dim sum trolleys and the trolley went over and boiling water went all over her legs and this table jumped up and it was a Japanese table actually jumped up and they were all taking photographs and I remember the whole restaurant was outraged and everybody was shouting and you know really sticking up for this girl and, and I was thinking about this I was thinking back to this today and I was thinking that wouldn't happen now that wouldn't happen Do you think we'd see, be numb to it? I think we yeah. see so much that we're numb to it but I think it should be made illegal I what? really do. Uh, to be able to take photographs of an accident yeah. Yeah. is the most... To, to be able to invade somebody it's at a, a fine time line, such. though, isn't it? Because I, I, I agree, something like this, to me, is completely wrong. But then, you know, we see on television accident and emergency programmes where you've got a film crew in the face of somebody that's just had a car crash and you're, <laughs> they're filming the fire services, cutting them out. You've got reportage, you know, mm. the, the Don McCullum pictures oh, from from I wars. Love Don yeah, but there that's you are. That's journalism. See. Yeah, but you that's know, really but, important. But at the time, so he was he, he as a journalist is taking photographs. You know, that's the great the dilemma of all journalists is that you're there reporting on it and you don't help. Mm. Yeah, but these people aren't, aren't... No, I think it's a completely different thing. Because you're journalists, you've been trained. It is a profession. This is ghoulish. This is people no, that, hoping that is to post ghoulish. it on their Facebook, that is hoping absolutely to tweet ghoulish, it. But, but, for example, I don't know, if you think about the Alton Towers accident, yeah. the crash recently, and a lot of people were filming that, mm. uh, filming them trapped, and somebody said, you know, why don't the passers-by ring emergency services instead of photographing it? Um, if I was a passerby, I'd probably think that Alton Towers had already Probably called the emergency yeah. services. I wouldn't think that I would have to. Sometimes that kind of footage, and what happens is it pops up on news bulletins. Mm. So that the, the newscaster will say, um, there's been a crash at Alton Towers, and then about two minutes later you think, somebody there... Everyone's now a photojournalist. Mm. Members no, of the public. Now, so somebody there will have taken now footage. Everybody thinks they're a photojournalist. No, There's a difference. Jane. Everybody yeah. there will have taken footage. Mm. No one's going to run footage of a, a dead mother and child. But mm. Alton Towers, it appeared on all the news bulletins. And I bet you all looked at it and went. However, no, how, but saying that, Joe Pugh, he was one of the ones that was uh, that was involved in the crash. He's come out in the paper today that to, to say that he absolutely he's horrified. He criticises the people that took pictures of it because obviously the poor mum and girl that are that are involved in the in the tube story that we're talking about now, they have no redress. They they can't come back no, and no, say no I can't believe about you took that. pictures That's, of me. But no, I've moved but on Joe from Pugh that. Did. I'm talking about something completely different. So, filming a plane coming down. Mm. Actually, that footage, quite often, from members of the public, turns out to be very, very critical in the, in the inquest into actually what happened to that plane, mm. where so, the where flames came the out line, of... Where do you draw the line, then? Would you have filmed the, this tube accident? 100% no. You wouldn't? Would you, have filmed, would you have filmed the Alton Towers accident? As a journalist, probably I would have done, yes, because I think that... That is in real time. It's something that's happened. There's going to be an investigation. And I actually think that footage like that is very useful to mm. see. Well, we don't want to get like America, do we, where people are chasing... Do you remember but that I movie wouldn't, last year, I, I Nightcrawler? I would film are chasing a dead no. person. I would not mm. film a dead person. No. Absolutely not.